in general, I have a commitment to women and the women of this community in particular. I don't like to have this appear to be negative towards men because anything that benefits women will certainly benefit men. I just think it's wonderful that the staff are, are so committed and make women of Ottawa so comfortable when they have to deal with very serious medical issues. The Queensway feels like my hospital. I grew up in Canada. I'm a Canada girl, I'm a West End girl. I've watched all the communities in the area grow. I've watched the hospital grow. It feels wonderful to be a part of that and to take care of all the patients that walk in the door because they feel like family. I lived in that community for quite a while with my husband and children, and we were around when it got started, and my husband was involved in that and felt it was important to put his energies and his funds towards making the Queensway at Carleton the best possible place. I just would like patients to know that when they step foot inside the spacious, wonderful area that we call the Shirley E. Greenberg Breast Imaging Suite, they're in great hands. You just assume, yes, our system is free, we go, we don't write a check when we see a doctor or go to the hospital. But in the background there, there's a lot of people working hard, a lot of volunteers. It's really been quite surprising to me how much money the hospitals have raised in this community. And I think, again, the people of Ottawa stepped up to the plate and uh, we have a real great hospital now and I know I've had to use it. It's warm and friendly and still retains, I think, some of that intimacy of the small community hospital. I think that being a smaller hospital, uh, we're able to be nimble and adapt to change and uh, within the foundation especially, uh, able to be instruments of change and the hospital's really open to doing that. So I get to work with people who set a vision and want to make change and set direction that will improve health care for our community. And I match them with people who, who have an interest and a desire and a willingness to, to help make those changes happen. And essentially, when you put those two people together, um, the magic just happens. Hard to know exactly where you should uh, step in and maybe help to make change. Uh, you need your experts at the hospital to give you advice. It's great to see what's happened on that campus. It was something the hospital felt strongly about that women really needed, and I thought, let's go for it. The equipment does get expensive because it does wear out, because those bodies are running the equipment 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's something that's not understood by the average community member, that indeed the government helps us build the buildings and it's up to us to put the equipment in. So we absolutely rely on private donations. There's over $20 million worth of equipment that needs to be upgraded and changed and improved. And if you think about how rapidly technology is changing, our cell phones, we wouldn't look at keeping a cell phone for 20 years. Uh, every few years the technology changes, it upgrades, it's improved, there's new applications. We need to be able to provide that to our clinicians so that we can better pro provide that care to our patients. I think Canadians have come a long way because I know when I first started practicing law and I would do wills for my clients, they often did not leave any charitable donations. It wasn't in the Canadians psyche, I think. This goes back, say, to the 70s, 80s, but I think over the years people have become much more conscious of the need and the importance of giving in the community. I want to know that the hospital remains able to grow, remains able to put all the wonderful people and equipment in place as, as the community grows. I want to know that someday when I'm old and grey, that I've done good enough work and I've stayed within a great culture that takes care of others so that when I walk through the doors and I need those services, I can feel that I will be well cared for. If the Queensway Carlton says, jump, I'll jump. <laughs> if I, I assume that people are doing these things for a good reason and I'm willing to help. 
trust, it's the trust here and the confidence I have in the hospital and people who are involved in making sure it, it uh, works. I'd like to see the Queensway Carlton really be the best hospital ever. And it's not gonna get that way without everybody's help.